Sixth grade, module three, lesson 13, problem set. Number one, negative air pressure created by an air pump makes a vacuum cleaner able to collect air and dirt into a bag or other container. Below are several readings from a pressure gauge. Write the rational numbers to represent each of the readings and then order the rational numbers from least to greatest. Okay, so first it says negative air pressure makes a vacuum. So anytime it says vacuum, it's gonna be negative. It says pressure, it's gonna be positive. So 25 PSI or pounds per square inch would just be 25. 13 PSI vacuum is negative 13. Six and three tenths vacuum would be negative six and three tenths, negative seven and eight tenths, negative one and nine tenths, and then the last two are positive. Now we just need to order them from least to greatest. So we're looking for the smallest one. I'm gonna start with anything negative. So negative 13, negative six and three tenths, negative seven and eight tenths, negative one and nine tenths. The smallest is negative 13, so let's say negative 13 is less than, let's see, next would be negative seven and eight tenths is less than, negative six and three tenths is less than negative one and nine tenths. Then we have 25, two and seven and eight tenths. So the smallest of the positives is two, then seven and eight tenths, and lastly, 25 is the largest. Number two, the fuel gauge in Nick's car says that he has 26 miles to go until his tank is empty. He passed a fuel station 19 miles ago and a sign says there's a town only eight miles ahead. If he takes a chance and drives ahead to the town and there isn't a fuel station there, does he have enough fuel to go back to the last station? Include a diagram along a number line and use absolute value to find your answer. All right, so he's driving along the road. Um, let's say that zero is where he is. So Nick is right here. And he has 26 miles left until his tank's empty. Okay, so he passed a fuel station 19 miles ago. So 19 miles ago was the fuel station and there's a town that's eight miles ahead of him. So about right here is next town. So if he takes a chance and drives ahead to the town, so let's say he drives, he decides to drive to the town and there isn't a fuel station there. And will he have enough to drive all the way then back to the last exit where there was a fuel station? So basically, we want to know, can he drive this eight miles plus go another, go backwards eight miles, but we want to find the absolute value of that, plus this other 19 miles. So we're trying to find eight plus eight plus 19. So 16 plus 19 would be 35. So he would need to go 35 miles to get to the next town. And then if there's no gas station, get all the way back to the previous town. But he only has 26 miles left. So no, he does not have enough fuel. because it would take, or it would be 35 miles total to go to, that's not one word, the next town and all the way back. But he only has 
26 miles left. So he would run out of gas nine miles short. He would be nine miles short on gas. So you better turn around right now. <laughs>